Hi guys and Happy New Year! I hope you all had a lovely holiday period and oh my goodness, I can't believe that it's 2020 already. It feels like not that long ago I was sitting down to tell you guys I was planning on making different content in 2019 and here we are a year later already. Like, it's crazy. Today I'm going to be doing something I've never done on my channel before and whether you can tell by the title or the thumbnail or the fact I'm holding this massive box I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. This was delivered hours ago but because I didn't have the chance to film all day and I really wanted to film myself opening the box I've had to exercise all manner of patience. I have been so desperate to open this box but I have resisted. This box is from MPB, MBP, MPB. They are a service that allows you to trade in and upgrade your camera equipment. And they also have a great range of secondhand camera equipment, which is what I have in my box. I really loved using my Canon 75 to 300 millimeter lens. I've loved learning the basics of wildlife photography with it, but I've been feeling for a little while that I might have outgrown it just a little bit. I do believe that a photographer is only as good as their skills, no matter their equipment, but I also think it's undeniable that certain equipment has limitations. <laughs> good way to say it. And I feel like the lens that I have been using to get into wildlife photography has started to pose such limitations for me. So I decided to treat myself and upgrade. <laughs> and I decided to buy secondhand because one, I'm skint and camera lenses are so ridiculously expensive. And two, <laughs> I already buy the vast majority of my clothes secondhand. So I thought, it would be a good thing for my bank account and for the environment to do so with my camera equipment, you know, giving a second life to an already used and loved piece of kit. <laughs> MPB are a great website because, like I said, they have a vast range of secondhand equipment varying in price and condition. So I was able to pick a lens that fit my price range and I was also aware of what the condition would be upon arrival or at least what I hope the condition is. <laughs> I promise I'm obviously not sponsored by MPB, I just think they're a great website but if they could maybe sponsor me one day that would be great because I'm really skint, that would really be nice, thank you. But enough chatting, I've waited long enough, you've now certainly waited long enough, let's open the box. Let's open it! I've just got to find some scissors, I think I would have been more prepared. I have some on the floor. Oh, I'm on the floor. They were underneath my desk. It wasn't like they were just on the floor. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I don't like, can you see? I'll just put it off of it. There we go. I'm going to like this. Oh my god. I'm terrible at this. It's a really big box for a lens. Maybe the lens is huge. Got lots of packaging. Lots of packaging. Ooh, you go. That's a good thing though. At least it's not the next one. Completely busted. And boys. It's heavy! Oh my god! It's so much heavier than I... Oh, I thought it would be a little bit heavy, but it's so much heavier than I'm used to. Oh my god, it's huge! Look at this! I'm just looking at it on the... Oh my god! God. I don't even know where to begin with this. That's so big. It's in really good condition. 
what I can tell just by looking at it, obviously without using it yet, it has some scratches on it, but I was aware that it was going to. But it looks like really good. And I mean, the scratches aren't anything that wouldn't appear within a few days of me using it anyway. <laughs> it does look new, which is really good because I obviously didn't pay a new price for it. Um, this lens is the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter contemporary lens. It's Canon fit. Because obviously, I use a Canon EOS 80D. And oh my goodness, it goes up to 600 millimeters. That's double what I'm used to. This lens actually it was one of you guys in the comments of one of my videos had mentioned this lens and then a photographer whose work I love, he's amazing, had told me that he uses this lens. Obviously he's got amazing skills as well to go with the amazing lens. And then when I saw the price of it, oh, I'm sorry I keep stepping on the, that all the packaging. And then when I saw the price of the lens I was like sold. Look at that. And yeah don't judge me that I don't have the cap on it. That's crazy. Like the weight difference is insane. I'm gonna get some serious muscles using this. Lenses that are like this size from brands like Canon and Nikon, etc., are thousands and thousands of pounds or dollars or whatever. And this is definitely not thousands of pounds, I'll tell you that much. But I'm really, really happy with this. Um by looking. Obviously, I haven't tried it out yet. Which brings me on to the next part of the video, which will be trying this out. So let's go. So I am out trying out this thing. I can't even lift it up to be in this shot. Um, I'm out trying it out and let's face it, figuring out how to work it. And I already have a couple of observations. One is that I am definitely going to have to rethink how I go out and do wildlife photography and how I film my videos because my back, shoulder and my hip where it's bouncing off are already killing me and I've been walking for about five minutes so I'm definitely gonna have to rethink that because <laughs> I'm not that strong but yeah also my other observation is this lens is a lot more shall we say conspicuous than my other and I really hope I don't get mugged <laughs> this place is crawling with oyster catchers and the really good thing is I don't have to creep as close as I usually would have to so I'm gonna get down and try and See if I can get some shots of them. See if I can get shots at all. I don't really know how to work this place. <laughs> So I can tell that the image stabilisation on this lens is definitely going to have its work cut out for it because I'm literally like that it is still perfectly manageable to be handheld which is so great because there is nothing more annoying than having to lug a tripod around for me. I'm just too lazy for that. Um, but I'm definitely going to have to do more in hide photography this year with this lens because it is heavy. But for its size I definitely think it's amazing that it's not that heavy if you get me like it looks gigantic well for me it looks gigantic but it is definitely like I said manageable to just be used handheld which is really really good I'm also finding it easier to find my subject through the end of the lens than I thought I would. I thought I would really struggle with it, but I'm actually doing all right, I think. I'm able to find the things through the 600 millimeters, which is, like I said, double what I'm used to. So I'm actually quite um, surprised by myself that I can, I've been managing to find things relatively easily. So that's good, at least I'm not starting from day one. You know, maybe day four and a half, but not day one. <laughs> I just want to say though that getting big lens like this is not a substitute for actually taking the time to get to grips with the basics, you know, your lighting, composition, all that stuff. And I definitely recommend if you are a beginner that you're just starting out to 
definitely stick to a smaller lens that's going to be easy enough to use until you kind of get the basics and then you can think about upgrading because for me you know i have taken the time to learn the basics i'm still a beginner um but i definitely think this lens is definitely definitely i keep saying no definitely um this lens is going to help me with things like filling the frame and to help me get different sorts of compositions and up close shots and all that sort of stuff that's been missing from um my photography before so i'm very very excited to keep practicing with this i think you know uh, it's kind of like taking one step forward two steps back with this because i'm gonna have to learn how to use this and learn how to get the best shots possible out of it but i definitely think for the money this is such a good value lens especially if you do get it second hand so if you're like me or you've had a lens for a long while you've been practicing with it and you want to upgrade it, this is definitely a good idea because it's not going to break the bank but it is going to give you a very wide range of shots uh, so i'm super super thrilled with this lens i'm so glad i chose it and i cannot wait to just get out with it as much as possible and i'm really really excited for 2020 full of encounters with wildlife trying to improve my photography and bringing you guys along with me i think it's going to be a good year and yeah i can't wait to get started with it but i will say it now <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will maybe see you next time bye <laughs>